Even in a blue sky moment, the storm clouds loom ominously during the monsoon season. In a few weeks, it should have been rice harvesting time for farmers like me and Thane. But the crops are still deep beneath floodwaters after heavier than usual rains. In low-lying areas of the Irrawaddy Delta, the water is lingering. Access to many homes is still only possible by boat. Yeah. The floods came very suddenly and caught us by surprise. The water also came up much higher than what we've experienced in the past. I'm a farmer and it's destroyed my business. But rather than sit around and wait for the water to drain away, the work goes on. The water has receded here, but the level is still too high for planting to start again. Still, these farmers are trying their best to repair the damage in the hope they can get a new crop going soon. And once again, they say they are doing it on their own without any help from the government. It may be on a much smaller scale, but this flood has brought back memories of Cyclone Nargis in 2008, which devastated Myanmar's Delta region. The lack of assistance from the military government at the time was widely condemned. There have been some state food handouts this time, but the people here survive off the land. They say what they really need is rice seed so they can replant as soon as possible. When he toured the affected area, the president himself promised they would supply it, but it hasn't arrived. We really need more seed and farming equipment. A lot of our equipment was lost in the water. Many schools have also been affected. Some have shut completely, while others have moved to temporary classrooms where children are crammed into small huts. And the monsoon season isn't over yet. The weather department has forecast more heavy rain through until next month. For those already struggling to keep the water out of their homes, that's a forecast they hope is wrong. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Irrawaddy, Myanmar.